How do you know when it's time to give up on an offering? So let's say that you've created a new service or a new product. Uh, maybe it's a workshop or an event or something like that. And you're wondering, gosh, you know, I've, you've tried marketing it before and it hasn't really worked. Is it time to give up and move on to something else? So hopefully in this short video, I'll give you some encouragement and some thoughts for you to clarify that further. So I really think that the first step is to get clearer about what kind of person is most likely to say yes to your offering? What kind of person is most likely to say yes? And this comes from conversations you have with friends and colleagues about your offering. And the thing to be asking them is, hey, you know, do you know somebody who is more likely to say yes to this kind of thing? Now, maybe you have an email list, even if it's a small email list, send them an email and says, hey, you know, you'd love to have one-to-one -one conversations with a few people to um, get clear about a new offering you're thinking of, of, of creating and you love their honest opinion about it. Because your email list is probably people who are more likely to be interested in what you offer. But, but start, you can start with your friends and colleagues if you don't have much of an email list. And once you discover what kind of person you know, let's say you're offering energy healing and you discover, okay, so it's really uh, the, the kind of person more likely to buy it is not, the, not like my dad, but maybe my sister is more likely to buy this. So I need to look for women, uh, maybe in this particular age range who have these particular interests who are going to be interested in my service, right? So you, once you discover what kind of person through conversations, then I encourage you to have 10 such conversations, to, uh, rather have conversation with 10 such people about your, con your possible offering, your service that you're thinking of, of marketing. And what do you say in these conversations? Well, basically what you're trying to discover is, uh, you know, and not in, in, in more words than this, but what are they spending money on and how might your service fit into their budget, meaning maybe they're already uh, spending money on yoga and acupuncture, and that's great. So they're, maybe they're spending a couple hundred dollars a month on holistic healing, and you have a holistic healing service, and you, you, you would basically figure out, okay, so would my holistic healing service be an alternative to what they're spending money on that they would be really interested in, right? And if so, what should you call it? Because the name of your service is, is really important. Just like the title of an article is really important to, to, to determine whether people even click on that article to read it, so is your na the name of your service is also really important to, dis to determine whether, um, help people determine whether they want to, to look at it further. So discover how you can describe and change your, your, your offering, your service or your product so that people you're talking to who are likely buyers would say, you know what, I would consider that because I already spend money or I have been thinking about spending money on this kind of thing and I would consider your type of offering. Not that you're asking them to buy it right then and there, that's important. This is not a sales conversation, this is a, um, an informational interview, a niche interview, you're, you're trying to uncover, um, get to know better the, the, your ideal audience, your ideal type of client. So have 10 of these, uh, talk to 10 of these people because out of 10 people, there should be at the very least one who would say, you know what, I really am interested in this kind of service and they may, they may even ask you how to sign up or uh, they may say, you know what, timing is not perfect right now, but this is truly interesting to me. Should be at least one. Uh, ideally, two, three, or four would be the ideal number of people interest, truly interested if you're talking to the right type of person, uh, if, the servers, if the service is, in my opinion, worth marketing, and worth your effort to do outreach, etc. Uh, because one out of 10 is 10%. And when you start doing your marketing, whether it's advertising or uh, content marketing or networking or joint ventures, etc., that would be a really good baseline to say, you know what, this is worth my effort. So I hope this is helpful and um, gave you some ideas to think about and how you can clarify whether something is worth, a business um, offering is worth your effort to keep on marketing. Uh, until the next video, I'm George Cow, and always open to your comments and your questions. And I wish you a mindset of experimentation and exploration as you build your authentic business.
Be well.